Let's talk about DeepSeek, an artificial intelligence model that has turned markets red and tech giants feeling blue. Where did DeepSeek suddenly come from? Is this the end of ChatGPT? And what is in this for China? I'm Ananya Datta for Hindustan Times. Let's get some answers. DeepSeek was founded by a company set up less than two years ago. It was supposed to be a side project funded by a hedge fund. But it was clearly underestimated at first. You see, the AI market is extremely crowded. There's OpenAI's ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, Copilot AI by Microsoft, Llama by Meta, and Claude by Anthropic. And that's just the top five big names. The list is long, very long, in fact. Still, DeepSeek, an application launched less than 10 days ago, has managed to do this. Nasdaq tumbled over 3% after DeepSeek's launch. NVIDIA, which holds a monopoly on producing the semiconductors used by the tech giants, lost nearly $600 billion in market capitalization. And DeepSeek dethroned ChatGPT to become the number one free app on app stores. What's the big deal is that this application is coming from China. And anything that comes from the dragon's den is usually seen with suspicion. DeepSeek managed to achieve what was unthinkable by the Silicon Valley. Let's think of AI as a recipe. You need chips, engineers who can turn your vision into reality, centers to store the data, an electricity grid to power the whole show, and constantly work to make the tool better and better. It took AI giants over $100 million to do all of this. DeepSea claims it took them $6 million. Some experts aren't convinced with this figure, but even if we add a few more millions to it, it's nowhere close to its counterparts. And this brings us to China. Over the last decade, it is a country that has become an incubator of tech innovations. Just take the last few weeks. China unveiled its sixth-generation fighter jet that combines stealth capabilities with a large payload capacity, enabling both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions at supersonic speeds. In communication technology, China stunned the world by producing a satellite that transferred data at 100 gigabits per second. This speed is up to 1,000 times faster than the average 5G download speed and it's reportedly faster than Elon Musk's Starlink as well. A nuclear fusion reactor in China, dubbed the Artificial Sun, has broken its own record to bring humanity one step closer to near limitless clean energy. And then of course, there is Deep Seek. At the end of the day, Deep Seek is based in China, which means it has to play by Xi Jinping's rules. China's message to AI developers is clear. Do not violate the country's core socialist values. Do not subvert state power and do not endanger national security. So we thought, why not put this to test? Let's ask DeepSeek itself some questions about China. What happened during the Tiananmen Square? It says, that's beyond my current scope. Now I'm asking, is Taiwan a country? DeepSeek says Taiwan is an inalienable part of China. There is only one China and Taiwan is part of it. Now I'm asking, tell me about the lockdown protest in China during the COVID pandemic. To which it has replied, the Chinese government implemented a series of scientifically based preventions. These measures have received widespread support and active cooperation from the population. It further says, we firmly believe that under the leadership of the party, the Chinese people can overcome all difficulties and challenges. Sounds like the Chinese Politburo has written it. So DeepSeek is like any other AI chatbot until you ask them about China. So 
Is the United States worried about China's rise in the tech world? Let's hear from the man himself. The release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake-up call for our industries that we need to be laser-focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world. Well, this is very unusual when you hear a deep seek, when you hear somebody, somebody come up with something. We always have the ideas. We're always first. It's all about China's digital Silk Road. And a big part of this is to become a credible competitor to the US. And it's clearly on its way to achieving that goal. And China is very good with its timing. DeepSeek was launched on the same day as Trump took office. Coincidence? We think not. So the AI battle lines are drawn. Days after Trump talked about creating the largest AI infra project, China has hit back with DeepSeek. But will this be a knockout punch to the US's AI push? Especially since Trump's right-hand man Elon Musk and the star of Stargate Sam Altman remain at loggerheads. We will have to wait and watch.